interesting for. Right, hello, uh, welcome back to the channel. So um, yeah, listen, I'm currently hiding. Um, We've got uh, Storm Arwen on at the moment and it's uh, the weather's a little bit rough, clear but windy. Um, so just hiding, hiding by the church at the moment. I'm hoping this is a really exciting video, guys. I've been toying with the idea for a wee while, but finally uh, joined the, the Steel Hardtail uh, crew which I'm super excited about. I put out a build video of the bike. I'll put a wee link in the description, but <clears throat> yeah, I'd recommend giving that a wee shot, check out before you watch this. But um, yeah, if you just want to crack on, just keep watching. Kind of nervous and apprehensive because I'm here today to find out how I get on with a modern steel hardtail on some pretty gnarly enduro trails. And I'm a little bit nervous. Like I, I know that a modern hardtail is very capable. So it's one that's probably going to be surprisingly capable. However, I'm an experienced rider that's been riding full suspension bikes for many years now. Uh, and I'm just wondering how my skill set's going to deal uh, with, uh, yeah, gnarly trails and a hardtail. But we're going to find out. Bike itself, I'm just going to quickly tell you about that. I'm so excited about this. Obviously, it's a Bird Forge. It's a steel hardtail 29er. Really nice modern progressive geometry. So a wheelbase of uh, 12, 42. That's millimeters, sorry, I should say. Uh, but yeah, relatively long wheelbase reach of 496 millimeters, um, so plenty roomy. Um, and head angle of 64 degrees, because I'm running a, a 140 mil fork, you can uh, run up to uh, 160 on the bike, but I've opted for 140. And yeah, we've just tried to spec it out as kind of cleverly as possible, with a bit of a focus on not letting the budget run away, but also really putting in um, the kind of parts that matter. So yeah, uh, I'm just really excited. So wish me luck. Uh, this could be a bit of an eye opener, um, but either way, I'm gonna be out with really nice people on trails I love. So regardless of how good or bad my riding is, we're just gonna have a load of fun. Right folks, give you a wee update. So we're just heading up the golf now. I'm not gonna do too much stopping and chatting because it is freezing, literally cannot feel the fingertips um, and obviously you can see uh, Miss Arwen has uh, yeah, had a bit of a wild one last night um, so we'll be staying to the, the mid trails I suspect uh, just to be sensible but I'm hoping uh, my fingers uh, warm up because I'd, I'd really like to be able to actually put brakes on today. made it to the first trail. I'm not going to be doing too much uh, chatting in front of the camera today folks because it's uh, freezing but we've got a lovely group of folk out to get the hard tail down and see, uh, see what it's like. Oh man, okay. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Right, Laura's very kindly going to lead me down and I'll try and get this hard tail and see how we do. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, okay. Wow. So definitely. Yeah. Oh, oh my Laura. This is pretty nuts, folks. So first impressions are very competent. But yeah, I can feel feel it through my, my feet and my legs. Oh, whoa. It's good to see where Laura's going, but there's no chance of catching up with her. Oh, wow. Yo! Oh, this is gnarly. Really gnarly. So we've got pretty icy ground, folks. I'll tell you that. Very icy. The, the ground has got a kind of slickness that is uh, quite unnerving. So, 
modern hardtails folk very confident yo oh, oh my god Laura. I totally forgot you're in the hardtail <laughs> yeah man that's what I was like yeah that <laughs> was, was, and then I was like, oh. incredible you want to head again bud right, right. follow Laura in again oh she's off oh so yeah, definitely taking a bit of adjustment having to keep the heels down a lot more but it's a lighter bike so you can, you can sort of turn it in quite easily um, just obviously a bit less traction under braking on the rear and uh, yeah tricky but whoa oh man Yo, oh, what's all this? Yo, Woo -hoo. oh man, this is fun. Yo, you can see the storm damage. Oh, oh my god, first impressions of the Bird Forge are absolutely incredible. Um, obviously, a bit difficult, oh uh, different, I should say. Having to really concentrate on your keeping your heels down and stuff, and the trails today are really slippy. But man, that was just a lot of fun. So capable. Don't know how much slower it was in the um, in the full full suspension. Obviously a bit, but hopefully the footage is still enjoyable and encourages you to get out and try one of these. Well, folks, I was just chatting with Alan there. It's going to be tough at the moment uh, these trails because they're so many trees down um, yeah I won't be surprised if they're having to, to close some trails but to see how it goes because there's a lot of stuff across trails that are just near good hiya how you doing you all right hi we're trying to, we're trying to just in, <laughs> get down the trails uh, and there's there's some stuff going on so probably not going to ride it's a monster tree down there so we're just going to take it really sensible and last thing we want to do is ride into a tree and do something stupid so we'll just check it out and be safe um, i'm going to start after the tree bloody hell folks so these things are terrifying actually i'm not going to go around that so if anyone's interested when these trees bend like that and lie they're under a crazy amount of tension so when these things go, they uh, they go big. Whoa, we still got the the ice. Let's see. Yo, what is this? Whoa! Oh my! <laughs> Whoa! This is a. Uh... It's interesting. So there's features on trails that on a high. Oh my god! bloody tree across the trail there's some features that like the hardtail it's totally fine like and then there's other stuff where you just you obviously miss some of the, the rear suspension um, but overall it's a very rewarding uh, experience to ride like this man I feel like a 35 year old again <laughs> whoa looking ahead trying to think more carefully about where i place my wheel because uh as well as not having the obviously the rear suspension i've got shorter travel up front although it's going pretty well so far wow oh it's all together just a, a more lively experience Yo, oh man, no, I'm not doing that high line today. No chance. Oh. Well, I can tell you, now my quads are feeling it. Big time. Oh, they're getting tired. Let's get on it. Try not to hold the crew up. Yo. 
the group is down to one. Um, yeah, we're in a bit of a break up in the group. I am going to head down flat white with Alan and maybe do another one. And uh, yeah, I just want to say verdict so far. I'll give a verdict at the end of the video, but the hardtail is just loads of fun, like loads of fun. So uh, see how it gets down flat white. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God. Whoa. Oh, I'm off the trail. I'm on the old trail, I think. Yo! <laughs> well, this is uh, interesting, folks. Certainly uh, feeling hard and frozen. <laughs> Just uh, not want to get carried away because I tell you, I don't know if you can hear that underneath, but my God, the, uh, the ground is hard. I'm pretty slippy. Oh my! It's one of those situations where the grip's there until it's not, if you know what I mean? Whoa, dude. Oh, it's pretty slick. Whoa, that's there, very slick. <laughs> oh. oh, feeling that on the leg. Tell you. Yo. <laughs> Oh, loads of fun, but tired as well. Yo, wow. Oh, oh my God. If you'll notice me dropping back from Alan, I am, legs are starting to go. This is gonna be awesome winter training because I'm going to have to grow some uh, leg muscles folks which I clearly don't have Whoa. Whoa. holy moly this is incredibly good oh the hardtail and that stuff though this corner so well. Yo. Woo. Oh. Yeah. Decided to end the video where I kind of started. And uh, yeah, this video is all about me seeing uh, what it'd be like to go back to hardtail after a lot of years and not riding hardtails and see what it's like. And, uh, yeah, I've got to say it's just been a, a really fun experience and, and it's obviously not quite as capable as a full suspension. However, there are genuine moments where it has its merits and it's better. You know, the way you can turn in, the connection you have with the trail is amazing. Um, and I, I have to say, like to anyone who's thinking about getting a hardtail, um, either because that's going to be their main bike or, or a bike for winter or training, 100% I think is a really good idea. Um, because it's just fun, like there's there's no getting around it. Like I know we all ride bikes for different reasons and sometimes just for speed, but actually for like smiles on the trails and just fun, that's some of the, the, the most fun I've had. So yeah, gonna end it now. It's bitterly cold and uh, just gonna get back, get warmed up. But I hope you enjoyed that vid. Um, if you got this far and you thought it was decent, please consider hitting that like and uh, I'll see you again soon. Cheers.